Alright guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing. We're going to go out to do the lobster pots and we're also going to go out to do a bit of shore fishing. But guess what? There's a lobster in the marina and my mate's just seen it and I'm going to go grab it. Don't spook it, I've got a big net. It's banded as well. Look at that guys. It's banded as well. No fucking legs. Oh. Got no legs. All right, look, check this out. Liam just scooped this out of the marina. Look, it's got a band on it. You know, chap? She's yours. Well, she's in size. Yeah. Yeah, but you might as well take her now. Have the tail. You beauty. Hey, oh, Liam just got a lobster in the marina. <laughs> now I'm missing the gate now. That's why I'm running over. Big shout out to Josh Redwood who owns that boat. He just lent me some oil. So big shout out to him, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to go out. Sparky's let me down with oil. Oi, oi. Right, we're back, the boat's running. Let's get out there. That was a good start. Right, I'm sweating already, I shouldn't have ran. Right, let's go see if we've got any lobsters. Liam's catching them before he's even got out. Why well, these gloves are so hard. Oi, oi, from that last video and it's stinking. Tide's pissing through now. There's gonna be a bit of a hard pull. That's for sure. Now I've brought my spinning rod out tonight guys. There it is on the back. Might go spinning for some bass and pollock. I don't normally spin, but we will do tonight for a change. What I'm gonna do is go down to the south coast where me and Darren were fishing. Oh, bum suck the cigarette, it's all wet. Oh well. Right, well, we're out there, guys. We're going straight out. Hopefully, we've got some lobsters. 
Big shout out to Peter Goodbear and also a big shout out to Tim and Jenny that donated 30 pounds this morning on my PayPal. I really appreciate that, thank you very much. And a big shout out to uh, Peter for always donating and my lovely t-shirt he got me. Yeah, I woke up this morning, I had a donation at half past six this morning of 30 pounds, which was absolutely lovely. Shout out Alan Hainworth, just donated five pounds. Cheers, buddy. Wet these gloves a bit before I put them on. Oh, that's easier to get on. Let's get the hell out of here. Nothing. 
Oh, first pot. Brown edible crab. Another brown edible. Lady crab. Another lady crab. Brown edible. Second pot. Little Larry lobster. He's nowhere near going to be in size, so we'll let that one go. Another small brown edible crab. Right, that's it for that string, guys. Let's bake this up. Oh, this reeks. Beautiful, right, let's play these out. I don't know where. Number one done. Check this one that I haven't chopped it over it. I think this might be the smash fish and I'm not sure.
jump on this! on it. Pot that went. Why is it so hard to pull? I've got problems here, guys. This 
the last thing I need. I don't know what's going on. I'm in a big mess! I've got no room. And it's a bad day for lobster fishing. Yes, I'm out. Well, that messed up that pot, guys. 
sorry about that. I'm out of it now. So first part we've got a conger eel with its head sticking out. There he is. More on that. Second part. Not very lot. Brown edible crab and spider crab. I've got a tool and in the smash pot we have nothing. Great. Let's go and play these out. Oi, oi. Two hundred sixty four in the life. Right, these bobbers are going to start going under soon. Didn't need that mess, that's for sure. I'm going to stick this one here, why not? Stay clear of this rope now because I don't know where it's going. That's it, we're clear now. Third string now. We'll do the creels last. 
hoping the krills do well, they've been doing well for me. And getting at least one, I haven't had one, but I haven't yet. Drop that one on this one. It could all be going wrong today. It literally could all be going wrong. Don't say that's happened. Quite possibly when I dropped the other one that got tangled. We could have just dropped it on that one again. Oh, let's hope not. Otherwise, that's a nightmare. That's amateur. Amateur mistakes. I reckon it is. I can feel it. Well, maybe not. little lobster that not big enough big female spider crab there a brown edible crab clean these traps out
Right, let's get these out and get onto the krills and then let's go fishing. Big lobster, guys! Lovely lobster! The creels don't fail! It's a nice lobster! I love these creel pots. I'd buy just creels from now on. Size. So guys, the creel pots are up. First pot. Lobster there. I don't think that one's going to be in size, guys. In fact, I'm pretty sure. He's about two mil out, guys, that one. About two mil out, but that's fine. This one, this one's definitely a keeper. That one's definitely a keeper, guys. That's a beauty. Lovely lobster, that. Absolute beauty. Sound. That's the lobsters you want. That's the sound one. No measuring that. Feisty one, are you? Brown edible crab. That's it. Oh, at least we got one keeper, guys. I'm gonna do all these. Get onto the net, and then we'll go out and do a bit of fishing. Oh, that was a crab.
going? A bit of pollock in there. Right, that's them baiting up. Play these out. Bloody hell, I drifted all the way along there. Ten feet. Just quickly go and clean that box. Give it a quick shave.
a little shave, it's a bit more clearer.
Sorry about that, the phone fell! At the stop! Right, that mobster's biting me! Get this down. 
up, hold up. I see markings, guys. We're going to drop here. We're going to drop the feathers first. Got a few markings, so we'll just see if there's a... Yeah, it looks like fish. Really looks like fish, so... Uh, let's see. Very rocky here. We're fishing on the south coast of Guernsey, so uh, I've never really done much fishing around here, so it's all new. As soon as I bring, as soon as I bring those markings. Very deep here at all. Like I say, it's all new to me, guys. This is all new. I wonder where Darren is. If not, we'll go turbot fishing. Point's only there. Be nice to uh, just go and try over here again. Beautiful background there. I'm not used to coming in here guys lots of fast water loads of rocks underneath us probably be good for bath but I don't really know where I'm going there says there's a rock there I don't want to land on a rock that's for sure it's like 39 feet below me 38 I just wish I knew where Daz was Right, yeah, why not? I don't know what this is going to be like, guys. There's no markings, particularly. Have you ever heard a better story than the one of Tyson Fury? said I don't know about the fishing here so that's a big lobster a beaut not as big as the lap oh that was a fish
God's ripping through. I'm okay, I'm gonna try things out tonight. Why not? Here. I'm gonna fish it anyway. Hopefully we don't eat nothing. Darren. Could be turbot fishing at this rate. Nice tide for it. Soon, I think. Wasting our time here. water on my seat. I know my rod's out guys. I've got water on my seat. If I motor it, it'll come off.
Not once my jumper will get soaked. Definitely a lot happening here. We're gonna go to the point. At least we know that there's fish at the point. So let's head to the point, guys. Let's try and get a turbo, bogger it. Have a drop here, see if we can get any mackerel, guys. Hopefully, we can. Shout out to anyone that's donated 15 pounds donated. Thank you very much. All right, come on, mackerel. A couple of mackerel, and we can get a couple of bottom lines down. If we can even hit mackerel. Some sort of, it's not major markings, but. I reckon the tuna's eating all of them. The amount of tuna we've had, doesn't surprise me. We had loads of tuna. Some of them 
somebody told me the fishing was poor. I can't remember who said it. I haven't... What was that? A couple of markings there? Just on the bottom now, guys, there's a few markings. Sand eels, I reckon. We didn't pick up one. Feels dead. A few markings on the surface. I don't know what that is. We'll have a look. Nothing. Well, this just could be a bad day fishing. I reckon the tuna's had all the mackerel. There's been loads of tuna, guys. Loads of them. Just been in feeding frenzies. about my language guys it's just I don't know what's going on I haven't caught nothing over the mackerel what the hell's going on Something's not right. I always get mackerel. I haven't even had a bump on the way down, you know? There's nothing on the sounder. Oh, fish on! Oh, it come off! That was a mackerel. one on. Bollocks. I lost it. It's definitely a mackerel. Oh, there's a shoal or something down there now. Come on, there we are. I got hit by something then. I got hit. There's loads of fish down there, and I can. Oh, there we are. Fish on. Two 
two skipjacks. There we are, guys. I knew there was markings down there. Two coral mines. See if we can get a couple more. Oh, I've got it again then. Yep. Now we're on. Oh, we had four of them on, but one just came off. Got bait. Five mackerel. That's a good start. Alright, we're gonna have to fill it a couple of them up straight away. Tap dancing. Whether it works or not, that's a different matter. Big tide, big turbot, and look at that. It's that fresh, it's still beating on the hook. Have you heard the greatest story of about Tyson Fury? Can't get that song out of my head. Have you Fine mackerel, that guy's beautiful. Fine mackerel. So we just nip it through the tail, go through the skeleton where the skeleton would have been. Yeah, beautiful. That's prime turbot bait, that guy. 
prime turbot bait. Right, let's go and set up for the drift and let's get them down. Send the first bait down, guys. I don't know, I've got a feeling about turbot tonight. I've got a turbo feeling, you know? Right, that's that one down. Just let the line play out on that. Just let a little bit more line out. Drags the set. Drags the set. Right, let's see if we can get some more mackerel. Oh! What's this, guys? Something might have jumped on this already. The ratchet was just going. a lot.
Oh, that was a bang on the way down. Guys, that's a big taupe. That's a big taupe. He's not happy, which I don't blame him. He's cool. He's gonna go mad in a minute, guys. I'm gonna have to jump off. Get my net out the way. Right. He's grunting. Oh, 
was a bit too big for a turbo. No. I've got to get the hook out yet. It's a big ass tope. Well, I'm going to have to just jump on him. Bear grill style. Get ready, guys. Oh, he's full of power. I'm on him, guys. Right, I've caught the hook out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off. There we are. Right, that's him free now, guys, so. Let's see what I can get here. I'm gonna see if I can get a photo of him. He's a big boy. Now, don't go mad. Don't go mad. Don't. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. 30 plus pound, that. Easy, 30 plus pound. That's an action. It's an absolute giant. What a beauty. What a beauty that is. Absolute cracking fish. Now, I'm gonna release this now guys, but look, take one more glimpse. Best part of 30 pound this, maybe even 35. It's a lovely tope, but 30 shocks. Right, I'm gonna release him now, guys. There we go, full life, back down to the depths. Woohoo! Get in! I thought we lost that tope then. Woo! Hell yeah! And that's on 40 pound mono, that guys. 40 pound mono. It was hooked straight in the side of the mouth. Cheers, Smash. Woo! That went well. That went really well. Oh, well, that's a new one for the live. I was only down two minutes. Oh. I thought I just felt a bit of weight on that then. That's beautiful. My deck is full of ammonia now. Calm down a bit now. something on this or not
Oh, I thought we had a fish. Nah. I'm happy with that. Beautiful tote. Get in. That's what you get on Inglorious Fishing, guys. Well, he ain't stressed now. He's gone back. I'm well happy with that. Well happy. Really chop. Beautiful type. I reckon it was because of the mackerel guys, like I said. Uh, it was still beaten, eh, sir? Didn't even get a chance to take line. I literally seen the rod. It just went bang, 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 bang tope. I said I called it a tope as well. I could tell. Oh, cheers, rhubarb. Thank you. You bring me the money. I'll bring you the fish. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But now I'll bring you the fish, guys. That's for sure. Like I say, I make more on my live feeds than what I'd ever make in my videos because I only get paid like $10 a video. Sometimes I don't even get that. $10, not 10 quid, $10. So, I earn next to nothing off YouTube. I earn more of donations of you in Glorious Fishing Family than what I do off YouTube. So I thank you all for that. Who wouldn't promote his... No, I mean, it's the best freaking live on YouTube. Who else has landed a beast like that live? Come on, you know that! I've got the best live YouTube channel around! <laughs> oh, that had some weight on there. What? 
the hell is that underneath me? There is a huge shoal of something. Come on, come on, let's get down. I've missed it, come on, don't miss it. Might have just been sand eels. on then. Nope. Live tote fishing, eh? I've got one live for you guys. Can only imitate, but Dan delivers the goods. You know that. That was a big tote. That's probably one of the biggest totes I've had. Markings again. What the hell is this underneath me? Just markings galore. They're about halfway up the table. This might be mackerel. Maybe not. I knew it was a big fish. I knew it went. If that was a turbot, that would have been 30 pound plus taking a line like that. Oh, I thought that was fish on. Fish on. Oh. First drop, tote. Oi, oi. Bait's gone. That's not a bad first drop, that. Hopefully it continues.
Beautiful. Oh, let's hope for something like that again, guys. Hopefully a turbot. Well, I'll take tope any day. Great fighting fish. As you've seen on the rod, guys, they absolutely fight like anything. They go really well, tope. It was taken line and all sorts. That's what you get on Inglorious Fishing. Live shark fishing. Hell yeah. Live shark fishing. Oh, well, that was a nice surprise, that guy's lovely coat. Can't be that as well, it was caught live. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. I'm buzzing. I need to give this deck a wash though. Full of them 
ammonia. Was just there's a bit of weight on this. I don't know if you're just digging into the bottom or not. Seven hundred and ten alive. You missed the taupe if you've just joined. What the hell? Fish on, guys. Fish on. What's come off? It's come off. It's come off. Oh, is he still there? Oh, that rod's just gone. Just had a bite on that rod as well. 
Oh, what the hell's that? Give that some line. I think this has come up. That definitely has something on it. I don't know about this. I've just left the drag on because I couldn't get to it. Definitely had a bite on it, 
Hope didn't even get a chance to take my line. I was on it that quick. If that would have hooked up and I didn't see it, all you would have heard was my rod going like mad. That was a bite. I'd be very surprised if that weren't a bite. I can feel it biting as I'm letting it go, I think. Quite not this drag just in case. Drag's tightened. Fish on, guys. Fish on. This could be a turbot. This could be a flatty. Oh, yeah. This could be a flatty. Could be. I'm not saying it is. It could be a dog. Then actually, it feels more like a dogfish now. something there but I don't think it's a turbot Inside the chops, another species, another shark, the cat shark or the dogfish. It's not happy. shark or dogfish now we're not going to be using them for pot bakes i'm not going to be doing the pots for a while so he's going to get released guys so beautiful lovely little dogfish straight back down
grab it then. It's on my engine, guys. They want it, they'll come and get it. This rod just went over, guys. Just letting line out. This is just snag. Is it just snag? I really thought we had a fish on then. I think it's just the bottom, guys. Mr. Lobster in a bucket of water so he's a bit more happy. Take his opportunity. He didn't want to take the opportunity, guys. 671 in the live. 273 likes. 15 pounds donated. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh, 
Fresh on. Maybe a dog. A fish? Well, it might not be. for another. Line down, baby. Mm. That one's on the bottom. rain. Drop a rain then.
only one Conor McGregor, and there's nobody better. And he's gonna knock out Floyd Mayweather, so Floyd would shout, because the Irish are coming, and you can do what you want, but you do not own... Oh! What the hell's that? Markings. We always go down there whenever we see markings. Come on, race down. I can't believe it's raining. Didn't forecast this. right underneath the boat. Skipjack. There could quite possibly be more fish. Raining.
Yeah. This ain't no dog fish. Oh yeah, this ain't no dog fish. This is no dog. If it is, I'll be very surprised. Fish on guys, this is no dog fish. guarantee you that. Well, I'll be very surprised if it is. It is. It's a bloody dogfish. underneath what? There's a huge, the whole sounder. Whole sounder's full. What? I don't know what that is that just came through. I don't think we're going to get them. I think they've gone past. That's a lot of fish. Unless it's a bluefin. Number two dogfish. Fine little creature. Beautiful. Back he goes.
How do you like this one so far, guys? You think it's alright, this live feed, the old toot? Well happy with it. Great stream. Cheers, guys. Please, share. Just share on all your social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Put on the title, Live Shark Fishing. Help me get some new subscribers to the channel, guys. I'd really appreciate that. And if there's any new subscribers in the house, could you please ma make sure that you hit the like button? I'd really appreciate that. It costs nothing to hit the live, uh, like button. I'm chuffed because I got it live. And I didn't have to gaff it. I managed to get it half in the net and lift it up. A lot of my mates say, oh, why don't you just gaff it? I don't like gaffing fish. We'll get you to 10k subs yet. Cheers. Then on to 100, I wish. That way I wouldn't have to work no more. I could just do live fishing every day. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I'm hoping I'll be able to get to, at one point, at one stage in my life, that I'll be able to get paid enough and do it full time like Smash Fishing can. I'd love to do that. Collaboration Centrals. That's my aim, I want to do it full time. No worries, Cerise. There's a seagull on my boat. Get off! Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get paid to do what I love. Amen. That rain's going to come down soon. All right, well, let's get another bait prepped. Why not? I made sure one of the juveniles got it. You still swallowing it, mate? It's absolutely flat calm out here, guys. Flat calm. Near pin drop. Uh, something took this line before, so I don't know if the bait's going to be on it. And it's not. Whatever took the line before took my bait.
Hi, Earl. What's Earl saying he washes his hands to? Come on. Other boats are going in. As always, me and Liam are left. <laughs> it's always me and Liam left. If Darren was here, Darren would still be out. It's normally always me and Liam. Starving, I've had no tea, nothing. Billy, no tea. Sure, I've got some hula hoops in here. Oh, you can't beat the smell of fishy hands. So, some mackerel down there, I don't care about that. I'm going to make some tea when I get home. Alright, now I haven't been eating well, guys. Lately. Past four or five days, I'm hardly eating. Come on, if we're going to get a turbo, it'd be round here. No, I don't eat them, mate.
I reckon about 30, 30, 30 pound, I reckon. There's a lot of weight on that. There was a lot of weight on that then. I don't know if it was because we were coming up. Didn't take line, but I'll just grab it just in case. This will probably be our last drift anyway, guys. This is probably going to be the last drift. The sun's starting to go right down now. My lavender lights ain't working, so... Oh, they certainly fight well. They certainly go well. They'll take line and all sorts. They're good fighting fish. Really good fighting fish. I'm glad I got you one, guys. That's the main bit. I'm just glad I got you a tote. <laughs> Kraken. See the old rod? It's like... Question mark. I said when I hooked up, it's a tope, didn't I? With a bloody big turbot. To do runs like that, it's always a tope. Certainly did, John Turner. Nice one, Jeff. Cheers, Kathleen. I was excited landing it as well. Well, luckily for... Oh! Retro 1980 just donated £6. Donation for your groceries, mate. Cheers, buddy. Um, we haven't had COVID-19... I think it's for over 140, 150 days we haven't had it. Which is unreal, you know? That's nearly six months where everyone else has had COVID-19 and we haven't had any. And why? Because we shot all our borders like everyone else should have. Dano got, got Dano some tea. Cheers, Retro. What your land? I'm only in from work and came on them. I'll watch later. Big tote. Big shop. £30 tote. Potatoes are the best, man. Oh, those were those crisps um, Fly Boy sent me. He sent them to my work. <laughs> my boss rung me up. He goes, you've got a package from here saying, 
to Daniel Buggies, aka Inglorious Fishing Baby. I said, what are people doing sending stuff to work? I said, oh, it's probably because I won't give out my address. And they've seen that I work for Infinity Construction. They got your address. He was laughing. He didn't mind. Well, I don't think he mind. i got a mate who I work with. He's from Ireland. And he said they're cracking crisps. He even told me to save him a bag. Get yourself a bigger boat with the donations. Love you, dude. Matt, unless you're going to donate about 10 grand, it ain't going to happen. Big test for the new rods. It certainly was. That is probably my PB tope. I've had one of about 30, 30, uh, 25, 30 pound before. It was about the same size. Maybe a little bit bigger. I was over the moon, guys. Over the moon. really need to fix that hatch, it leaks water. Oh, oh, and glory fish, oh, me, but Wow. I could have feathers out, catch a mackerel left, right and centre. But I can't bother. Someone shot the tip on my trout rod in the... Oh, no, I would have been pissed. Oh, this Alaska... Mate, Alaska 500, yeah, is one of the best boats. Jumped on it like Steve Owen, you know that. Alaska 500s are one of the best small boats going. This was built in 1990, this boat. And it is absolutely fantastic. Honestly, this boat flies in any weather. Well, not any weather, you know. You're not going to go out in a 4.7. But, you know, she can handle the weather quite well. What's that? What is that? a bit tight. I thought there was a bit of weight on that then. reeling in they all come over because they know you're going to chop your bait look they're not stupid old Steven Seagal huh seals oh yeah Liam's going over to investigate. It's time for a seal or a basket shark. I can't see. 
Liam's steaming to it now. What the hell was that? That's huge, whatever that is in the water. Hardly top. See if we can see that seal. Shall I leave the camera on when I'm steaming in or shall I turn it off guys and end the live feed there? You tell me. Unless you want to see the tripping.
first year. Look at that. Check this out, ready? I'm going to turn it, ready? There she is. Check that out. That's who we are having a chase with. There he is, behind us. He was up the point for us as well. We're always the last ones in, me and him. People fishing there. tired and all I can smell is Chinese. And we're back on the mooring. guys you know what time it is it's wash time so if you don't want to stay tuned that's fine by me i'll leave the camera on and i'll get rid of it in a bit
Yeah, you know what time it is.
nice and clean. Always make sure your boat's clean, I don't care what anyone says. Doesn't matter how long it takes, make sure your boat's clean, ready for the next session. Make sure you look after it. Top tip that, you look after your boat, it will look after you. That's Daniel's hot top tip.
I didn't have none. I have two dogfish actually. That tote was good. Huh? It went well, yeah. That was Rob's question mark. Live as well, eh? <laughs> They're all watching live. Nice lobster, right? Eh? Yeah. Nice lobster. That one? Yeah. Oh, you had your plate. Yeah, £4.9. £4.9. Good, 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 That's what it would have been. Is it? What? Cold fish? Oh, what? So you watch it back when you're on there? So you watch it back? No, I can't now. I've got the, um, I've got the go fish, eh? Oh, right. No, it's the coil. Yeah. Going. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mine. Oh, that's better quality. Normally, that's when you better, eh? yeah, yeah. I jump down to me, I'm too lost to sleep. I thought, fuck it, if I can't do it today, I don't remember where it is. Oh, that looks down. Yeah, it's down, man. She flies along. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's Sell the boat. Hmm? Why are you selling the boat? No one wants to sell. Who? No one wants to sell a power truck to go on the top of the boat. No? Car, boat, van. I'll keep the van. I've got them all, chat. Eh? I've got them all. Yeah. I've got a car, boat, van. No, uh, the car's fucking 274 foot. No, it's going to be 76 a month. I'll pay for that. Yeah? I'll put this container thing up. Because we now take them I'm heading to the boat, right? Your bones are paid after me. Oh, right. So obviously it's got another fucking change around the year, right? Yeah. Uh, what's that? I don't know what I'm going to do that, right? I've caught my balls in the way. It's the only piece of fish I've caught here, that's right. Is it? I've caught my balls in the way. I've caught my balls in the way. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen to mine. Oh, yeah, and you can't see it. Straight in the net. Straight in the net, mate. Most people gaffer, mate. Uh -oh. Head first, straight in the net, tail still hanging out. 
You can gaff them, mate. You've just got to gaff them in the right place. Gag him for a pee. hundred still on the live. Thanks for watching guys.
Oh guys, that's off from Inglorious Fishing. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everyone that tuned in. Um, got a big tote for you, so that was an even shock to me. And it isn't received to me. Live broadcast over the air, need a license, online content excluding. Another great live I don't know. Tote, cheers. BBC iPlayer doesn't need a license. I'd rather watch boat cleaning than the house cleaning. You know that, Cliff. Yeah, well, we don't do none of that. Maybe I should get my missus to jump onto that. But anyway, that's a different story, guys. So, that'll wipe before that goes dry. At the end of the day, they're making money. So fair play to them. That's the way I see it. They're making money, whether it's house cleaning or licking ass. As long as you're making money, you're making money. So anyway, guys, like I said, thanks to everyone that tuned in. We'll see you on the next one. Inglorious fishing, baby. See you next time. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for all the donations. And hello, any new subscribers. We'll see you. Thanks for the PayPal donation, Jess. I received that this morning. I gave you a shout out just before. Jess and Tim, thank you for the £30 donation this morning. I really appreciate that. See you later, guys. And glorious out. Till the next time. Bye-bye.